without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm What is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team pack opening video. Guys, today what we're going to try and do is get the brand new Orlando Pace and Zach Thomas. The boss items are still in packs as of this recording. Um, I did do a video this morning kind of, you know, updating people, letting them know that those were going to be the ultimate legends that were in the game today. Um, I have not done a pack opening yet for either of these cards though. I did make a, a video earlier as well today and uh, I mentioned that the signature packs are very likely to be in the game. Uh, and here they are. So you guys can see signature packs are available. You do get a signature player as well as 15 gold or better players and a mix of four other team items. So not bad. I mean, it, I, to be honest with you, if it was just a signature player, this would be a horrible, horrible choice to do because there are maybe like five, six, maybe seven signatures that you can do that are worth 400,000 coins. All the rest of them, like, I don't even know how many there are, like, fucking 35 or 40 or something like that, are all a big loss. So, uh, definitely something to consider. I don't know if I would recommend doing these unless you're, like, a YouTuber or something like that where you're going to upload the video and, and have fun with it. Um, they're really not that great of an investment because we all know, guys, the 15 gold or better players are probably going to be 15 gold players. And best case scenario with the 15 gold players, what, I, I mean realistically you're probably not going to get that much value out of them i mean of course you could get like some some elites or something like that but it's pretty unlikely so um what i'm thinking about doing though rather than doing the signature packs right now is i really want to do some sort of a uh like a compilation or like a combination video something like that like with with somebody else that does youtube like i'm trying to get i joshify to do uh some sort of like a i don't know a guess who or something like that for signatures i think that would be a lot of fun i think we we could do something really fun with that and uh, hopefully you guys would enjoy something like that so if you guys want to see us do a video together be sure to drop a like on this video and make sure to mention it in the comment section below as well so that I Josh can see it and he can see that people want to see us come together and make a great video we tried to do one earlier uh, like to do like a pack and play type of a game or something like that but it just wasn't working in draft champions we just couldn't connect like we could both draft but then we couldn't actually play against each other so that was really frustrating but I do want to do a video with him because um, iJosh is one of my best friends in the community, one of the true, legit, nice guys in the Madden community. I, I really mean that. And I think, I, I mean, I've said this before, I think iJosh makes some of the best videos in the entire community, bar none. So um, I would love to make a video with him at some point. But uh, with that being said, guys, what we're going to do today is just rip open some standard pro packs, man. I'm not going to be spending the 400000 right now on the signature pack unless I can do some sort of a video with somebody else. I'm going to try and work that out. Um, so we'll see what we can do. But for right now, guys, what we're going to do is do some pro packs. Hopefully we can get something good out of these. I, I mean, I've mentioned it before. A lot of times the best packs that I open each year are just standard pro packs. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, hopefully we can get something good out of one of these. We get a Charles Woodson out of the first pack. So, not really a whole lot, <clears throat> but I want to hear from you guys, man. What are you guys getting as far as your packs? Like, are you guys, uh, have you guys pulled any Ultimate Legends yet? Uh, any of the bosses? Like, I know, I shouldn't even ask that really because people always lie in the comment section. Like, it's so funny because the number of people that pull boss legends is much higher in the YouTube comment section than in reality. So, I think people are lying about it to, like, I don't know, make people think that they're cooler than they are because they get good pulls or... I don't know what the mentality is behind that. As we get a Henry Hynoski, usually those pullback cards are actually worth something. So that one might be worth something. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I will definitely not be quick selling that one without taking a closer look at it. Um, a lot of times, like I said, those those gold fullbacks, uh, they, can, they can have some good value. So we'll have to check it out and see what that one's worth. But uh, yeah, oh, Cordell Patterson there, a low overall gold. Oh boy, Zach Miller. But yeah, again, I want to hear from you guys, man. Are you guys pulling any of this stuff? Are, are you guys getting any of, like, did, did any of you, okay, so first of all, did any of you pull a signature pack? Because if you did, I want to know what you got. I saw, I think it was Toke, if I remember, I think it was Toke. I think he got, like, three Reggie Bushes out of five. So, like, that's horrible, man. That's that's a really bad ratio. <laughs> like, that's freaking trash, dude. I, I mean, I, Reggie Bush is one of my absolute favorite players. And when this game first came out, and he was in, I think he was the, fir the first set of signature cards, if I remember correctly. 
Um, at the time, that card was really, really ridiculous. Like, it was one of the best running backs if you looked at, like, the attributes. The catching attributes that that thing had were money. And he was quick and agile and everything like that. Um, and obviously, I'm a Reggie Bush homer. Always have been. Probably always will be uh, until he retires. But, uh, I mean, like, you just look at it and you have to really question if if any of these packs are are really worth it. Because you look at, like I said, somebody like Tolk pulling three out of five of... I think Reggie Bush is either the worst or the second worst signature you can get as far as, like, value goes. Maybe not um, actually, like, usability-wise, but Toke's team is so good that he can't use Reggie Bush anyway. So it, it's kind of pointless. So basically what's happening is that he's spending 400,000 coins, and yeah, he's getting some gold cards and stuff like that, but, like, dude, I mean, 400,000 coins and you're getting, like, 30 to 40,000 in return? That's freaking horrible, man. That's really, really bad. So... I don't know, dude. Like I said, these signature packs, I'm just not sure that they're worth it right now. I'm, I'm really not sure that they're worth it. They're, they're, uh, I mean, of course, there will be, uh, there will be some videos. Oh, here we go. Okay, damn it. We get a, a base elite Rick Wagner. Uh, there will be some videos where people pull something good, and I think he actually did pull an AJ Green or something like that. But, like, still, for the majority of people, most of these packs are definitely not worth it. And, uh, oh, for some reason it was lagging really bad there. Sorry, guys, if you're getting some lag in this video. Um, I looked over it, and I'm seeing that occasionally it's it's lagging, and I'm not exactly sure why that's happening. It really shouldn't be. It should be, it should be perfectly fine, but you know how computers are, man. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird how stuff like that happens. It's usually during, like, this little screen, too. Like, I don't know if it's the amount of shit that's popping up on the screen or what. I I don't know, dude. Like, the loading screen of the pack seems to make things lag for me, and I, I don't understand why that is. If you guys are OBS experts, let me know in the comment section below. Why is it that when I play Madden, I lag so much more... My videos lag, I should say, so much more than any other game that I play. Like, I could play Battlefield or Call of Duty or whatever and get, like, no lag at all. But as soon as I play Madden, the game that I play the most, suddenly it just doesn't work. So, I don't know. But we're still trying to pull these freaking, uh, these freaking Ultimate Legends, man. I still haven't pulled anything as far as those go. Really disappointing. Like, I know, obviously, we can't make it so that the Ultimate Legends are easy to pull because then there's really no point to them. But, like, it just feels to me like the stuff, the really good stuff in this game, it's just, like, it's so rare to pull anything. The, the vast majority of packs that you open are stuff like this. Like, there's no, there's no real value in most of these packs. Like, it's just brutal. And yeah, occasionally you'll pull something decent, but even when I pulled the Elite card, the Rick Wagner, that's like one of the cheapest Elite cards that you can pull. So, I mean, it's, it's just brutal trying to do these pack opening videos, man. When you just get nothing in most of them. I'm not, I, and it doesn't, it, it always sounds like I'm complaining about it, but like, I don't know. I, I don't think that I have necessarily worse luck than other people in opening packs. I just feel like that's the luck of this game this year. And it just feels like that's not enough, doesn't it? I don't know. It, it, I feel like we need to go back to like a point where there's a good balance as far as like pulling really good stuff and not pulling really good stuff. Because to me, back when uh, when I used to listen to uh, Chase plays Madden, Ryan nine one five, London RTR, those guys, uh, they they kind of introduced me into the Madden Ultimate. Well, they did definitely. I shouldn't even say kind of. They completely introduced me to Madden Ultimate team. Um, but that was back in Madden thirteen. And back then, those guys, it was like, it felt like every single weekend they were pulling the best stuff that you could pull. And at that time, I was thinking like, well, uh, yeah, they would show me like videos where they were pulling like 99 overall cards. Like the, not the golden tickets, but like the, the legend cards or, you know, like things like that. The I don't even know what they were called at the time. I'm trying to remember, but they had like the stars on them. And there were certain ones that were like not even worth anything. Like they weren't even excited to pull a freaking legend card. And then you went to Madden 25, and I think that was, that's where we saw as we get an elite there, Don Terry Poe. I think that's where you saw a big shift as far as, like, what was in the packs because I think they really reduced the odds in Madden 25, which was, of course, when I started getting involved, like, about February of Madden 25. So, um, you know, that's what I – that's all that I've ever seen is the lower reduced odds. But it feels to me like this year, Madden 16 – 
it's like the worst odds that they've ever had. Back in Madden 25, at least I would pull elite cards regularly. I mean, I don't even know how many packs I've opened here, but we've uh, we've opened two elites, which is like better than most of of people would get in in these number of packs. So I don't know. It just feels though to me like there's just way too much crap that you get in these packs. I wish that there was a better balance. I wish that maybe you could get I don't know like a little bit more of like decent cards like usable cards at least that would be great i don't necessarily want to pull i do want to pull i shouldn't say that but i don't necessarily need to pull the best stuff in the game i just want to pull like good stuff you know like most of these packs are so trash so i don't know what do you guys think though i mean should they boost the odds of at least like the mid-level cards make it so that you can pull at least like something decent and usable or should i mean like is this good because to me i i just feel like the only way you can really build a good team at this point is to just pump thousands and thousands of dollars into the game which for an average person who doesn't have a youtube channel just like it isn't viable it's not something that you can really do so most people just don't really get anything good um we'll save that pro pack for the end um most people that just don't like i don't know they don't end up getting um anything good for their team and that that's got to be really frustrating you know so we'll, we'll open up two more packs here and then we'll open up the final one that we just got there as far as the the redemption pro pack in the middle of another pack uh packception if you will so nothing out of these we really haven't pulled anything decent still no ultimate legends it is what it is as far as that goes but again guys i want to hear from you are you guys pulling any of this great stuff and also do you feel like the odds just are ridiculously low to the point where it's not even worth opening packs at this point and we get a dan bailey kicker card there i think that one's actually got some decent value so we'll have to check that one out as well so uh with that being said guys here we are we've got one more pack to open wish us luck hopefully the pack section comes through it would be amazing man if like the final pack of this pack opening my daughter's sleeping upstairs by the way and she's probably gonna wake up if i open up an ultimate legend right now so all right here we go guys it would be amazing if we got something good out of this final pack come on let's go from the back for the rest of this come on hit it good ah Phil Taylor. damn it all right guys that is gonna do it for this video though hopefully you guys had better luck than i did as you guys can see there i do have a 20 bundle or i don't know what the hell you want to call it but i have 20 unopened large quick cells we will be doing that in a video here in the next day or two so be on the lookout for that if you guys want to see that soon be sure to drop a like on this video let me know in the comments section below thank you guys so much for all the support hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys again soon